So the basic concept is uh, we're taking spiral dynamics and aqua and putting them together and seeing what happens. Uh, it's not exactly how I came to think of it, but uh, in retrospect, that's sort of what it appears to be in that it is um, a, a matrix of interior and exterior factors that interdependently um, and perhaps codependently uh, generate an evolution of consciousness. And basically what you have is um, the archetype of the um, of the double helix um, wrapping around itself up into infinity and from infinity. So it's kind of like uh, this, this image right here. This image is used to display the uh, concept of a wormhole. Um, and then this image just kept popping into my head because the spiral in and of itself um, it's kind of endlessly looping, um, it kind of just keeps going and going, and, and doesn't necessarily uh, help broaden or, or, or point to a larger perspective. So I thought, well, if you use um, this sort of wormhole image of this um, open expanse towards the end of it, and, and then the bottom expanse at the, at the bottom of it, um, you kind of create this infinity that is beyond form. But while we're here in form, of course, there's affinity, there's a specific dynamic that's going on. Um, but yeah, th this is just a basic picture of spiral dynamics and the different means and ways. I've had a few questions as to how to play all of this out when you're actually, um, when you're actually using this new map, what would you, how would you categorize different memes that were originally used in in the earlier spiral map. Um, well, the idea is actually to sort of pair them up with, uh, much like the aqua matrix, pair them up with their correlating exterior components, for instance, uh, consciousness and brain states, um, and showing the interde interdependent play going on between them. Um, and specifically in social occurrences and socio-cultural evolution, um, this map wouldn't just look at the value systems, but the mechanism of change behind those value systems, much like Aqua does. It would show, uh, for instance, um, the exterior drives for new, new modes of organizing society, new ideas, such as the printing press and the Protestant Reformation, um, and the ability, uh, this increase of complexity, which drove further uh, new ways of organizing both culturally and mechanically. Uh, so there's many things you can do. Uh, for instance, the, and the latest one would probably be the, um, on the left and the right, uh, or the interior and exterior ring, um, how they co-arise the, the uh, internet information age and the age of collaboration that we're allegedly um, evolving into, um, the Gaian tribe idea. So uh, there's many ways to pair up the interior and exterior correlates with each other um, in a more dynamic map like this, which uses the double helix as, as, a, uh, as a very nifty uh, way of seeing interior and exterior play. And of course, going into infinity um, towards the top, well, th this is really just saying there, there could be an infinite universe on that end and an infinite universe coming up to it, uh, sort of like involution and evolution. This is or Aurobindo's concept, uh, I think, very wonderfully described and expressed. Um, the idea that, you know, uh, ignorance is evolving towards the light and light is evolving, or, or uh, reaching towards ignorance in a sort of uh, involution and evolution kind of way. And I think that's probably the most beautiful part of this uh, archetypal image that could be utilized by Spiral Dynamics, by Aqua, by Ken Mulder, by Interval Institute, and it's at least worth um, meditating on for a few moments. But anyway, thank you for listening.